Hi! Thank you so much for tuning in to your Written in the Stars February 2017 Terrascope. I'm so excited to see you. Um, if we haven't met before, my name is Madeline, and if you're back, I really appreciate it and thank you so much. As usual, I'll be doing two different readings for you during this video. Your Terrascope, which is a really overarching look at the whole story for the month, and then a really laser-focused spread to give you some action steps to take and a theme to sort of focus on to make the most of your month. Um, of course, it's going to be Valentine's Day, and February is for lovers. And Venus, the planet of love and beauty, has just entered Aries, so I'm expecting things to really heat up, and we may see some of that in your reading. But you can also tune in to your first ever Written in the Stars video horoscope to see where she's lighting up your chart specifically. So thank you again for tuning in. I hope you will let me know what you think of these telescopes. I would love, love, love to hear from you, and I hope that it provides you some great insight and empowerment for the month. Without further ado, on to your reading. Hey, Leo. Nice to see you again, digitally. <laughs> nice to not see you again, Leo. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in for your February 2017 Terrascope. Oh, how perfect is that, Leo? How you is that, the King of Wands? And of course, here's where I'll do my preface to say that kings and queens are not representative of gender in the tarot. So you can be a male queen or a female king, for sure. They just have different personality types. Leo, February 2017. Leo, February 2017. Leo, 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 in February, Leo, in February, wow, 2017, Leo, Leo, February, Sorry for the earthquake, Leo. Leo, February. Wow, 2017. Okay, Leo, I don't normally do that, but you saw where those two cards just flipped up together. And I really only meant to pull 12. That is our agreement, darn it. But sometimes spirit says like, hey, but this story ain't over and I need this one other card, so. <laughs> and if I couldn't have picked, you know, a better card for you, Leo. Oh my God. And then here comes my kitty cat to like celebrate even more this, this kitty-ish Leo energy. Baby. Thank you, bad girl. That was derpy, y'all. Hashtag derpy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, as I was saying, Leo, the sun this is your card. The sun is your ruling planet. Like, so to see this as the kind of topper for this. Um, and let's see, where do I want to place him? I think I want to place him here in the center. I, I feel like this is where spirit wants him, kind of straddling everything. Move these guys out a little bit, make sure you can still see them, but I want to give him kind of the center stage like you, Leo. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, you do definitely have some challenges to overcome in February, Leo, but I, I have to say that they have big rewards. So much like in, in your grand and illustrious t tradition, this is not going to be a boring month. This is definitely going to be an interesting, an interesting journey. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, gosh. Here's the first thing, Leo, is you need to be a leader, okay? And you need to think of yourself as a strong leader. That needs to be the image that you have for yourself in order to have the strength to take on these challenges that really Spirit is saying that you're setting before yourself. So it, for a lot of you, it's these are not like external challenges. These are like, I have set my sights on this and holy shit, 
I set my sights really high, I had no idea, like damn. And right now you're in kind of contemplation. Like I feel like some of you have hit a wall, okay? And that's not anything to be taken negatively. That's like, again, like Spirit just said, the whole, holy shit, like I had no idea that what I wanted to create, that this vision that I had, that I'm completely ready to take on and still completely committed to, I had no idea that it was going to take so very, very much to create. Okay, so some of you have hit this wall and, and it's a wall of like, damn, how am I going to make that happen? How am I going to, like, okay, and then Spirit just said, okay, sorry, Leo, let me just say these are general readings. So some of these messages are going to resonate more than others because there are so many Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising that are listening um, to this video. So please bear with me and know that even if this is like basically a different shade of the advice, but the, the but it is resonating with you on a certain situation, please hear that out. Um, okay, so some of you have hit a wall, and then what Spirit said was, Spirit added that, and some of you have, like, hit a plateau. Like, you're not, and in both cases, it's like, you're not done yet. You need to just ascend to the next position. Spirit wanted me to use the word plateau because so many of you recognize it as that, like a plateau in your business, a plateau in your workout regimen, a plateau in your money. Like you are ready for things to go to the next level. And a plateau, and Spirit is saying also for some of you in your reputation, like you want to get bigger. You want your, your work to get bigger, to go bigger, okay? Okay, there's a major catalyst coming to you in February. Um, the tower is nothing to sneeze at. That is major. That is like a big, big, big uh, earth shaking, sometimes earth shattering change coming from the outside. So something that is outside of your control. And this can be anything like an eviction, like a, the loss of a job the loss of a relationship, something that you thought was lasting and um, and very much still standing in your life is crumbling in February. And the really good thing about this is that Spirit follows it up by saying, you're strong enough to get through this. So I feel like for most of you, this tower is not so catastrophic that you need to be distraught. I feel like it's like, fuck! Like, this really sucks, and what am I going to do? But you are nimble. You're spry. These are the words that Spirit is using, and they're showing me you in the form of, you know, the, the zodiacal symbol, the cat, the lion. Like, you can get through this. You're a hunter. You are a tracker. You... Spirit just said you've been through this before. And if you haven't been through this particular version of the situation, you have been through such similar upsetting changes before, and you have overcome those circumstances, and you have learned from them. This is like, yes, you will feel tired and beaten up from this tower. Okay, and then Spirit just added that some of you have been through this tower already. This tower is something that has happened, whether it was like in the end of January, the middle of January, it's something that occurred that you were still feeling the reverberations of and dealing with the consequences of. Like you're sorting through kind of the rubble of like an external like, boom, like here you go, how are you gonna deal with this challenge now? This surprise, like from what you thought everything was cool, blows up in your face, Alanis Morissette reference. <laughs> um, and so here's the thing, like, you're tired, you feel beat up a little bit by it, but all of these different weapons assembled be behind this guy, they're symbolic of the fact that he's been through all of these battles, and yes, even though he's tired and he's even wounded, he is alive, he is here, and he has taken the weapon of every adversary and assembled them behind him like trophies as a constant reminder uh, to himself of what he is capable of and to others as a warning to stay the hell back and not mess with me. So what you are going through, please understand that it's not in vain. Please understand that you are learning a lot of really invaluable skills, even though it's a very heavy burden to carry learning all these skills. 
and you're fearful, Leo, and that's not like you. Um, you're afraid to do what you need to do, is what Spirit just said. So some of you, and this is echoing, I'm remembering from last month, so some of you still have something on your mind or burning in you that is like, I need to say this or do this, and I'm afraid. And Spirit is very specifically saying that for a lot of you, um, this is about wanting to leave a relationship. And of course, Leo, these are general readings. If this is resonating with you or you're wondering what the, the deeper meaning is for you personally, I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, my shop is linked in the description below if you would like to work with me too. But whether you feel this or not, some Leos are going through an experience enough, enough that Spirit wants to share this message that basically, Leo, you are like, you're big hearted and generous, but you can't be so big hearted that you allow yourself to be hurt or allow yourself to be basically hobbled um, and held back. You can't sacrifice yourself. Um, I mean, you can, of course you can. Tarot is not fatalistic. You can do whatever you want, Leo. But it would not be in your highest good to remain where you are when you know you want to be elsewhere. So of course, again, that doesn't apply to all of you. Um, when it comes to a relationship, for some of you, this is a job. Um, or again, a business. Like, are you holding yourself back out of fear? Are you refusing to move forward? Are you piling, your spirit just said, piling yourself up with so many tasks that you convince yourself you can't go any further or faster, but really are all those tasks necessary? Are you taking on so much in an unconscious bid to keep yourself small? Because spirit really wants you to get big. Spirit really wants you to do a lot of growing. The second half of your reading is very, very, very different from the first half of your reading. If you just notice here, um, here's the first half, right? Six out of 12, we have this extra card here. This is like a mini tarot reading lesson for those of you who, who are interested in learning tarot. So the first half here is so tumultuous and, and fear and like burdens and trouble and worry. And then here in the second half, even the colors lighten up so much and the imagery is so different. So Leo, all again, they're saying all of this that you go through is not for nothing. And it's actually for this central purpose, which is why Spirit wanted me to pull that extra card. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what comes up in your fiercely focused spread right after this one. Um, get real. Get real with yourself, get real with other people, and Spirit is also saying that you, some of you have a powerful friend that you need to buddy up with, that you need to partner up with, that you need to get together with and pay attention to their advice because they're very intelligent, they have your best interest at heart, and they can help you, okay? And you have something that you want to build, Leo. This tower that fell, maybe you're going to build something with the rubble of that. Maybe the lessons that you learned are going toward building something instead of battling something. You have the resources and you have the know-how and you have even the mental, like the support, like a friend or a cohort that is going to help you build this, okay? There's so much more freedom and growth and ease coming into your life. Like, like seeing all of these cards together, what they have in common is like, flow. And even the four, even though it's a card of stillness, there's an element of peace. There's an element of ease in it. The same as these. And it's interesting that they're the four, six, eight. It's like even, <laughs> even that word, the even numbers, you know what I mean? Like, ah, so there's really like after a time of like considerable burden and anxiety and like having to be really adaptable to these sort of tumultuous circumstances, there's a real opportunity to cleanse and then rebuild and come up higher, Leo, to grow from everything that you've been through, to receive more, to get more, to grow more, and then to feel better to feel more at peace, to feel more relaxed in your mind. So I feel like so many of you, it's like you have this <sighs> 
this tumultuous, this anxiety provoking experience or attack. And the choice is yours in whether to try to hold on to this crumbling tower and to stay where you are and to keep carrying it on your shoulders or to kind of let things fall apart and see what comes of that. Letting go is sometimes the better option than holding on. Not always, of course, but in some cases, and if that's resonating with you, Leo, there's a reason for that. There is something in your spirit, in your soul, ringing like a bell right now saying, accurate, yes, I am holding on to something that I can see is crumbling and falling apart before my very eyes. And I can hold on, I have the strength, but is that the right thing? Is that the best thing? Is that the thing that's going to set me free and make me feel like I'm wild and growing and expansive and joyous, which is your birthright, Leo. That's who you are. You're meant, to, you're the eternal child. You're meant to feel playful and excited and expansive and, and like you are always growing and acting and being, okay? So holding yourself back is anathema. Clinging to the past is anathema. It's time for you. <sighs> Spirit just said to find out what you're made of. And they mean that, like, and that comes easily. Like, isn't that funny? Like, all of the talent and skill that you have, it's going to come easily. It's natural for you. When you embrace your natural gifts, when you enjoy the people around you who give as much as they get, you're going to feel the power of the sun. You're going to feel enlightened, empowered, clear, strengthened, ready, able to see what's ahead of you and to move toward it with courage and passion and fun. Good Lord, I mean, like, this is good stuff. It's just a matter of letting go of the shit let go of what's not working, reflect, take your time. You are a strong, creative, passionate person. When you reflect, look at what's not working. It's okay to move past it. It's okay to cut it out and rebuild and you will be happier for it. You will grow more for it. Okay, and now let us take a look at your fiercely focused spread and kind of get a little more clarity, a little more information. Like, what do you need to focus on? What kind of action steps do you need to take? So let's first pick a central theme for Leo in February. Leo in February 2017. What you can expect or need to invoke or understand the most Leo in February 2017. February. 2017. Haha. <laughs> As happens so often, same card, different deck. Spirit is asking you to pause and reflect. So as much as you're meant to take action in February, the best action is taken when it is reflected upon, understood, when you have all the facts and all the intuitions, the passion and the precision, all in your mind before you unlock them in your body, <laughs> before you unlock your mouth and, and spill out the messages that you have everything understood. That you, uh, there's a new perspective to be had, Spirit is saying, and it's going to benefit you. You've been doing a lot of, of action, Leo, that's in your nature to take a lot of action, to want to do so much, but in February, Pause. Take a little time out. Notice what is working, what's not working. Notice what feels right and notice what feels off. When you, the hanged man ha hangs by his foot, not by his neck. And spirit is asking you to look at things from another angle by putting yourself at another angle. Like look at your relationship with the perspective of an outsider. Look at your work or your habits for, with the, the perspective of an outsider. And Spirit just said, and it's so funny, like, but this is, must be, this is what some of you Leos are needing to hear. And this is why Spirit is making this, like, very 
mundane seeming symbol in my mind. They're saying, like, how, what would a, a personal trainer or a nutritionist say about your habits? Would they be like, oh, good job? Or would they be like, oh my god, that's, you're gonna, you're gonna, like, kill yourself? What would they say and pay attention? Be willing to have, wow, new perspective. Okay, Leo. All these cards want to jump out for you, but I'm, I'm asking Spirit, please, to pick one. This is for your physical and financial life in February 2017. That is, okay, this guy wanted to flip up, clearly. Okay, so you need to be a little bit, um, the fact that Spirit was saying be like a little bit slow, it's like, yeah, be, be a little conservative. Notice, notice what could uh, get in the way, not because you want to focus on what's going to get in the way, but because you want to be aware of what challenges lie ahead. I do not feel that this is about um, poverty, as it can be, or, or um, injury. I feel it's more like, notice, notice the potholes so that you can avoid them. Notice what is in your way and notice it before it's immediately in front of your face. This is why they're asking you to get this new perspective, to pause, to really reflect before you, before you take this strategic action that is going to do so much for you and bring you so much growth. You've been through so much that it's necessary for you to get a new perspective because things have changed. Your, this new plateau, this new wall that you're hitting it's time to see over it um, because you're at a new level. Okay. So now, what will you be thinking about? What will you be experiencing in the mental realm? Speaking, communicating, thinking, understanding. What is on your mind in February 2017? February 17. Wow. Okay. Okay, I never ignore spirits, so if they want to knock down these two, then these two shall be red for you, Leo. Okay, so huh, this is interesting. Because spirit is of course saying be conservative and get that new perspective. But dang, once you get that new perspective, speak the truth. And cut the shit that's not working, as they said in your previous reading. Like don't wait around, don't keep all the tasks on your back. As soon as you have got the facts and as soon as you feel like, okay, I've really done the hard work, I've done the difficult thing of looking at like what's not working and this is not working, <laughs> she said articulately. Like, but really, time to get rid of it. It's, it's done, get it off your back, send the inconvenient and awkward messages and say like, this isn't working out so I'm gonna stop doing this or I'm gonna stop working here or I'm gonna stop being with you or whatever this is speak the truth the truth shall, shall set you free and even if the messages are harsh as long as you've really put the thought and reflection into them and made sure that's like okay I'm really making the right decision I know that this is what I'm meant to do then it's right okay even if you hurt some feelings even if you cut some ties as long as you really know that deep within your soul this is what you know that you're supposed to do then Godspeed, okay? All right, so now let us look at what you'll be feeling. Wow, okay then. <laughs> All right, Spirit, you got it. Okay, so, gosh, Leo, I understand, I understand, Leo. Um, you won't be completely happy with the way things go, and that's perfectly understandable because, of course, you're opening up with that tower. So again, something goes wrong, and you're like, damn it. This is what I wanted, and I'm not going to have it. Are you serious? Like, it wasn't that much to ask, is what Spirit is saying. So it's like a lot of you are like, just a bit disenchanted. A bit like, oh, here comes my cat. She's like, are you disenchanted? Let me give you some kitty love. Let me give you some kitty love. Hi, baby. Okay, come on. You're walking right on the Ace of Swords now. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, come into my lap, baby. Come on. 
Sorry, Leo. She just can't help it with this kitty energy. This, you're the first reading that she's busted in on today. Okay, so it's not going to be what you wanted it to be. And again, like I, I really, I'm feeling that this is related to that tower. Like this thing did not work out the way you wanted to. But Leo, do not let that distract you from what is meant to come in. Okay. Spirit has a much vaster, wider, better imagination than you do when it comes to like what kinds of magical gifts that they can deliver to you. Okay. Um, so even if it doesn't look the way that you thought it would look, and I mean, again, you're the hanged man, you're getting this new perspective. Don't expect it to look the way that you want it to look. Be okay and prepared for it to not look the way that you thought it would. And um, do your best to count your blessings. Do your best to be really grateful for what you notice around you really is working. And feeling like there's... <sighs> Spirit is using the phrase, there is new growth. There is new growth. And it hasn't begun yet. The, it's, it's funny, gosh, this is so specific, but they're showing me like the holes where you would bury seeds. So the seeds aren't even in the holes yet, but you're making the mental room. You're making the mental, you're doing the mental trench work to do some new planting and then harvesting. Okay, so please notice what's working for you and enjoy what's working for you and keep your eyes open for new opportunities especially in the wake of the loss of old opportunities okay nature abhors a vacuum leo and they will bring you new gifts to replace what you lose this month and i'm feeling like most of you again know what this is and a lot of you have already experienced this loss so it's like the reasons for the loss are going to be coming clear in february okay and it is always always, always, for your highest good. Okay, so now let us see what is going on with your energy level in February 2017. What is setting your heart on fire? What is getting you jazzed up? Woo! How perfect for you, Leo. There you are, the Knight of Wands, passionate, the, the youthful and energetic bearer of fire, the messenger. Um, be extremely creative, be passionate. You're also gonna be feeling pretty impulsive. So it could be hard for you to kind of control your impulses, um, your urges, your mouth is what Spirit just said. Um, so some of you are going to be sending very impassioned and, and also angry messages in February. Um, so I'm not saying watch your mouth, but I am going to reemphasize the fact that Spirit said reflect, like take time to pause and reflect before you send messages, and then when you really know that they are right to send, send them, whether they're angry or um, mm, terminations of some kind, or if they're like a passionate love letter or a passionate plea, give them thought and, and reflection and, and time, like sleep on it before you send it, okay? Um, Leo, I feel like this is the month to reflect on what's not working for you and then what is, and then how when you make clear decisions and you make take passionate action, how you can make it the way that you want it to be. Give, give yourself the room Oh my gosh. She's like, one last cameo. Encore, encore. Okay, no one wants to see your cat butt, babe. I love you, but no one wants to see it. I apologize for my frequent derpy earthquakes. She's trying to cause another one right now, but that's okay, Leo. She is just adding to the message of, you know, say what you gotta say, disrupt if you gotta disrupt. Just make sure that you're disrupting for like a good reason. And again, you're a very joyful sign, Leo, and you're heading toward joyful times. This is the stuff that you need to shed so you can make room for it. Nature abhors a vacuum and you're ready to bring in more good stuff, victory and protection and joy and passion. So think about what you need, 
enjoy what you have and get rid of the shit that's not working for you. And enjoy one last derpy encore as she walks all over my cards. They're sacred to me, I swear, but so are my kitties. Thank you so much, Leo, for tuning in this month, and I hope that this is really helpful for you. And if there's anything that you want to ask or any insights that you'd like to share, that like anything that resonated or came up during your reading, I'd love to hear from you, either here in the comments or you can find me on social media that I'll link around here and in the description below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome month, and I'll see you in March. Bye-bye.